Hello everyone. Let's talk about calculus today. So calculus is a fascinating part of mathematics, but many schools and many students learn it in a completely wrong way. Today we will discuss what resources you can use to learn calculus in the right and interesting way. Calculus is tested in different parts of entrances like ISI and CMI entrances in India, STEP and MAT for the universities in United Kingdom, AP Calculus in US and so on. But even if you were not taking any of these tests, you may want to explore this subject because it's so beautiful in its own right. Let's talk about how to learn calculus in the right way. My name is Oshani Dashgupto. I'm a faculty at Chidda.com. We have outstanding programs in Mathematical Olympiads, ISI CMI entrances and physics. You can check the link in the description for more detail and join us through WhatsApp. So, to get started with calculus, you should actually start in a completely different place. At least it looks completely different. It's called inequalities. Interestingly, the notion of limit and many of the computations related to it are embedded in the concept of inequalities. So if you know how to calculate inequalities, you will know how to calculate limits. And a very nice book to help you get started with this thing is known as Inequalities by Little Mathematical Library. It's a book published by erstwhile Soviet Union. It has fantastic discussions and fantastic problems. That is the first book that you should start with. One example where inequalities come into play is the following. There is a theorem in calculus which shows that if you have a sequence that is monotonic, that is either increasing or decreasing and bounded, that is it doesn't get above or below a certain number, if a, if a sequence is monotonic and bounded, then it is convergent. That is, it has a limit. Now, the question is, how do you show a certain sequence is monotonic? You can use techniques in inequalities to do that. The discovery of the number E, which is approximately 2.71, sometimes known as the Euler constant, has a fantastic application of inequalities and AMGM inequality in particular. So check out the book Inequalities by Little Mathematical Library to get a better understanding of that. Okay, now that you have the foundation in the right place, the next thing would be to build a little bit more sophisticated technique of handling infinite sequences. And therein comes the idea of a limit and continuity. And the best book to do that, and I have spoken about this numerous times, is called Ta Calculus by Tarasov. Again, a book by a Russian author. It's an excellent book. And it has a fantastic dialogue going on between student and teacher, where they together discover the basics of what is a limit and what is continuity. And they use something called dialectics to unravel this mysterious part of calculus. Now, you have to be very, very careful about learning this particular area because many students and many schools gloss over it completely. They mechanically learn how to calculate limit without understanding exactly what's going on. So I strongly suggest that you go through the book by Tarasov and get a firm grasp on it. 
Now, once you have done the basics, now you have to really get your problem solving skills together. And there are several books, very beautiful books related to problem solving. I will name three of them. The first one is called Single Variable Calculus. This is by I.A. Marin, a Russian author again. The second one is a similar text by Piskunov, again a Russian author. And finally, the third one is called The Problems in Mathematical Analysis, especially the volume one. This is by Kakzor. So these three books have very nice problems on calculus. There are contests like Putnam and the problem sets from ISI and CMI entrances and STEP, which are really nice practice problems for calculus. And you will be able to see how non-routine problems can be developed using principles from calculus. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it is, then please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to this channel. Also, you can join our community for free. Go to chinta.com and you'll see a small WhatsApp button and you can ask the admin to get added to our beautiful math WhatsApp groups. Thank you for joining us in today. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Until that time, keep on doing good mathematics and stay well. Bye.